is this rabbit fur? Hi everybody, it's Janine over at Slow Happy Vintage, back again today with another five pound mystery bag of jewelry. This is bag number four out of seven that I purchased from a lady on Facebook Marketplace. She apparently would buy Goodwill Blue Boxes and various uh, miscellaneous lots from eBay and other places. She would take the things that she would wanted out of them and then she bagged them up and she sold them to me. So I have 35 pounds of jewelry to go through. I'm trying to go through it pretty quickly because my end goal is I want to put together curated lots of themed jewelry like boho or western or uh, surfer, just different themes. And I'll be selling those as a lot. I'm going to go through the jewelry fairly quickly. And then at the end, I do a recap of all what the nicer pieces look like on a display. If you see anything in this video that you are particularly interested in, please feel free to drop me an email at slowhappyvintage at aol.com and I can give you pricing. Let's flip the camera around and see what we got in this bag. If you have watched my other videos, you'll know that I have a bin system that I use to sort jewelry. Let's see what this has in store. Right off the bat, we've got a broken plastic bead necklace that'll go in craft and a little cha-cha stretchy pearlized bracelet that would go in a nice romantic sort of lot. Ooh, we have a glass bead that might need a little bit of repair before it goes into a lot. So put that in worth fixing. Most of these pieces are not marked. In another one of the bags, we have a similar bracelet to this that has woven ribbon through it. It's it's a very interesting interlink, interlinked kind of chainmail necklace. That'll go in a lot. Not, not sure what kind of lot that will go in. Oh, what do we have here? We have a tag that says, um, oh, this is... Wait, it's the jeans company, um, American Eagle. This is American Eagle, and it is a brown and faux pearl and faux crystal. Put that in lots. What is this? This has a hang tag, and it says icing. Now, I'm not very familiar with more modern brands of jewelry, but I do know that Icing is a lower quality brand. Um, Charming Charlie Icing. I'm, I'm starting to learn brands as I go. So this is not that impressive. Uh, it's, it's not made that well if somebody would want it. I mean, it's, it's all there. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> this is just schmutz or if it's actually damaged. I'm going to just stick that in worth fixing just to see if we can do something with it. This is another American Eagle beaded necklace. This one would go boho or western. It's, it's very pretty. Put that in lots. We've got bangles. I do not know what to do with bangles. Leave in the comments if you know what to do with bangles. I guess some people use them for crafts, but I don't know what kind of craft you would do with bangles. Okay, I am not sure what this is. This feels like silicone. It's kind of rubbery. Has anybody ever seen something like this? But we're gonna put that in perfect for lots for now. We've got a watch, goes into the watch bins. I do not sell watches. Well, I'm gonna sell them as a lot altogether because I just don't know anything about watches. Okay, this is an interesting piece. Very kind of Etruscan revival, like a Cleopatra collar necklace. That's really fun. Little coins on the bottom. That's pretty nicely constructed too. Put that in lots. Uh, what is this thing? This is actually signed. Piazza Sempione. Oh, this is a fancy designer. I don't know if there's a miss if it's missing one here or if this needs to be. Oh, maybe that needs to be sewn together. 
That might be what it is. That's probably what happened. Okay, that is worth fixing. That's a nice find. Excellent. This is a wrap bracelet watch. Goes into watches. Ooh, this is nice. See what I mean? I've said it before in these in my other videos. This is a gorgeous chain. So I don't know what she was looking for. Maybe she was looking for gold and silver, but I even found silver in one of my other bags. That's definitely good for a lot. Those are, I don't even know what those are made out of. It's gonna go into craft, but I've never seen beads like this. I guess they're plastic. They're faceted, but they're faceted differently. Too bad there's no clasp. I bet that was a Japan piece or something. I'm gonna stick that in craft. Okay, you have a signature on you. Another icing. Is it all there? Yes, it's all there. It's cute. It's kind of like prom jewelry. Cute little sparklies. I did find some vintage in the other one. Oh, like this. This is vintage. Here's a fold over clasp. That is Mar. Oh, it's a Coro. It's a Pegasus Coro. All right, let's see what this is. If I can figure out which way it goes. That's a fun little choker. I'm gonna probably hold that aside and sell it on its own. If I can untangle it, there we go. That's nice. So we've got a mechanical stretch that is all stretched out. That will be craft. Looks like another icing. It's got a lobster clasp and I could probably put together like a rhinestone and pearls lot. That's a cute little drop, wide drop. Pendant necklace, put that in lots. Looks like we have some fun boho stuff coming up. Oh, are you on an earring? Now what I've done with the earrings is I'm holding all the earrings aside because I've found matching earrings in separate bags. So I'm waiting until the very end to match up earrings. Lovely boho colors, beautiful wooden beads and some metallic. Nice, perfect for lots. I have an older spring ring, plastic beads. I do have a, a fairly large amount of plastic beads that I'm going to group together. So we're just going to stick those uh, off to the side because they're not really crap. They're too nice for craft, but they're not really nice enough to go into a lot unless they're a fancy color like these red lipstick beads. We will, hmm, well, we'll decide. We'll just stick all the beads together and decide later. Here we have a bunch of bangles that are all going to go into craft, I think. This one's actually nicer. This would be nice in like a boho lot. It's got mother of pearl and possibly onyx or that could, it's just a black something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a brass one. So we'll put that in lots. These are all craft and this one's nicer. Some of these might be a good accent when I'm putting lots together. Like if I have a boho lot and it needs just some things extra, I can stick some of these in all together. So I, maybe I will find some use for some angles. Oh look, a cat collar. <laughs> so I'll put that in craft. This is an illusion necklace and they are the nemesis of jewelry lots because they tangle everything up. This is two. So here's the illusion necklace and it actually has some stones and some nice beads, glass beads. That's going to go in craft. And this is a little bit tangled. It's got glass beads. It's all glass. Here, let me This is an all glass necklace, glass beaded necklace. And I actually think that would go in lots. Yeah, that's not, that's nice. Hopefully it won't get tangled up in there. Ooh, this 
this is pretty. Look at that bib necklace. Gosh, thumbs up if you think I'm finding some fun things in these in these lots. It's not older. It's got a it's got a lobster clasp, but it's all prong set in kind of a chainmail design with dangles. Really pretty. And we have a glass memory wire cuff bracelet that will go in lock. Let me just pull all the watches out. Ooh, look at that fancy one. Pull all the watches out so we don't have to deal with them. More watches for the watch box. I'm not sure what to do with that. I think that can go in craft. Oh, you can use it as a hair clip or a pin. That'll go in craft. All right, we have a peace sign faux wood. I don't know what that's made out of, but it's gonna go in craft. We have a memory wire. That's, it's a bangle, but it's made out of wire and it's not even really a memory wire. That's, mm, that could go in a boho, boho lot. This one, stretch is not great. We'll go and craft. Ooh, okay, I can't do earrings yet. Ooh, ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get finished with this. This looks like, is it copper? I don't think it's copper. I think it is, oh, well, it's not magnetized. Might be copper. Copper necklace that has, is that just tarnished? Is copper tarnish? When in doubt, put it in craft. Got some plastic beads with an older barrel clasp. Mm, put that in lots for now. We've got, oh, I thought these pearls were worn, but they're not really worn. They're made to be that way. They kind of have little splotches of pink and silver on them. So we will put that in lot. That's a, that's kind of a vintage piece. Got another key that says peace on a ball chain with a joy blessing ring. How does this lay? It lays like that. Hmm. I might add that to a lot. Oh, okay, so we have another bracelet that matches this. Um, it's just a fabric covered bangle, but it's the same fabric and it's a cute little bow. I'm going to stick that in perfect for lots and we'll match them up when we, when we get there. Oh, here's the matching bracelet to that other well, thing. I actually think we're going to pull that other one out of here and we're going to put this in maybe because if I can get that cleaned up, it's a nice set of copper jewelry with a fold over clasp. So we'll see what that looks like when we're done when we're done cleaning it. You know, some people like to watch people untangle things, and then to other people, it's just so terribly boring. It's like watching paint dry. So I try not to do too much of it. This is a mud pie. I think that's a Kohl's brand or something. We're just going to put that in craft. And ooh. What is this? This is older. It's got a barrel clasp. It's got some really cute floral beads on it and nicely done macrame. You see that? Cute. That will go in lots. This looks like somebody made using an older clasp, but we're going to put that in craft. I don't know what this, this thing is. Not quite sure what this giant cord thing is. Is it a lariat necklace? Is it a curtain tie? Is it, what is it? Any idea what this is? It's just acrylic. It's got some rondelles that are, don't, they don't have rhinestones, they're just faceted. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna put that in, I don't know what it is, in maybe. And then last couple of things, we've got a Fisher fish hook bracelet. Normally I'd put something like this in craft, 
but it is kind of vintagey looking and I do have a bunch of stuff that is kind of ocean life sea fish sort of thing so I'm going to stick that in lots so all of these are earrings except for this guy which is looks like a little LACN I don't know what LACN is that looks like an amethyst but it could be just acrylic. No, it's cold, so I'm going to leave this out to test. Sorry if you're, I'm offending anybody by throwing things. Pins are gonna go in craft, belt buckles go in craft, lone feather goes in craft. Got a couple of things tangled up in here. Oh, I do hope that I can find whatever this belongs to. Looks, I'm afraid it looks like a broken, oh, wait. Looks like a broken necklace. But look how quick, that's a can of teal ironwork. This is an old piece with a little cameo in it. That might end up in my craft lot over here. I had a chance to sort everything and I'm actually gonna test that bottom stone there. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in testable thing this I saw in another one I think I remember this one we've got some trafari I'm hoping to find the other one of these and then these are matches these are I believe these are Avon and these are matches so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in a bag these are matches these are matches these so the rest of these this is pretty this is a Sarah Coventry all right, so the rest of these are gonna go into the mismatched earrings. This stuff over here is just gonna end up in craft. I did find a gold-filled chain. This little chain is gold-filled, but it's not all there, unfortunately. I'm going to test this little stone. It looks like a little dragon or something, but I don't know that it's gonna be of any particular use to anybody. We'll probably end up in craft. All right, so that's this bag. I'm going to bag up some things, I'll put my display out, and we'll show you the finished look of what we have. Before we put everything out on display, I'm gonna test these few little stones we have here. It is going up into, it's going up into jadeite spinel, but I'm going to think that it is probably more likely amethyst. Yeah, so that's a little amethyst pendant. My guess is it's probably something that was sold at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but e either way, it's a lovely little pendant necklace. So I'm gonna stick that in maybe. Now, what are these things? Could they be tourmaline? Definitely jadeite spinel. Okay, so we've got little jadeite beads on these neck on these earrings. All right, they're pretty cute. Wonder if I can clean them up. I can stick these in the sauna cleaner because there's nothing that's going to harm, be harmed. So I'm gonna put those in the sauna cleaner. And then we've got this little dragony pendant guy. And that's going to be jadeite as well. So we've got a nice little jade pendant, but I don't know what it is. Is it a dragon? I think I'm just gonna stick him in craft. Because that bag went so quickly, we're gonna go ahead and do bag number five now. We'll do bags four and five in this video and hopefully we'll find some more cool stuff. I have a whole lot of stuff to lot up 
So I'm getting pretty excited. Ooh, not marked, but that's kind of a cool bangle. It's got kind of, it's acrylic and it's got little gold flecks in it. Looks like gold glitter. I went ahead and I did put all of the bangles together so that they're in a separate bag. This feels like a glass, no, it's probably acrylic, but there's some nicer ones in here. So we're gonna set those aside and put them in our bangle, bangle bag. This one is like a mesh chain around a bangle. Wow, lots of bangles in here. That's a good boho one, although it is missing a couple little doodads. Okay, looks like we have another icing or NY or Charming Charlie. Here is a Charming Charlie necklace. So how many of you guys out there like Charming Charlie? Like I said, I do not know these more modern brands. They seem to be a lot more cheaply made than the things of the past. That's one of the reasons why I absolutely love vintage jewelry. But these are in good condition and they have kind of, is it a Y2K look to them? 2000s? I don't know. Maybe we'll do a Y2K lot and put all of these interesting statement necklaces in it. All right, are we missing something? Looks like you need to be put together right here. That's not a problem. I, I really like fixing jewelry. Uh, if any of you have ever had a chance to learn how to fix things, it's really pretty simple and it's uh, very relaxing and very fun. I haven't done very many repair videos lately simply because I, I usually have something I want to repair and instead of set the cameras up and all, I just go ahead and do it. This is, looks like another Charming Charlie. Actually, this one's got a little heart dangle. I'm not sure who the heart dangle is. If you know who the little heart dangle is, let me know. It's missing some stones, so we're gonna put that in craft. Ooh, pretty. You look like you need to just be attached, reattached. Yes, that's an easy fix. This is an older piece. This is a hidden box clasp. And I like that one. That's worth worth fixing. What do we have here? This looks like an old Trafari. I don't think it is, but it has another one of those hidden box clasps and is not marked. It could just be Japan or, but that's a nice vintage piece. I wasn't expecting to find very much vintage, but so far I have found quite a bit. Ooh, these are nice, heavy. They're faux pearls, but they're, they've got some weight to them. Nice choker, old spring ring. That's a fun one. All right, perfect for lot. We've got some glamour, glamour lot. Can you picture, you know, somebody in the 50s? lady in the 50s vacuuming in her high heels <laughs> in this pearl necklace <laughs> or I don't know if she might have real pearls all right this needs to be attached it's got some beads that are in some bad shape but that's in the back so if we did a black and white lot I don't know that that would be that much of a problem because it is vintage you do tend to expect a little bit of wear on vintage items that needs to be fixed though so we'll fix that I don't mind if there's a little bit of wear on vintage it's kind of common because they've seen a lot of years that's fun that looks like a modern brand but what a fun little clustered cha-cha dangle thing I almost feel like it's missing some dangles over here. These are much fuller. So I might have to rework that one to make it look a little bit more symmetrical. Oh, what are you? You're NY. NY, um, NY is hit and miss. Sometimes they've got some really nice de designs. These feel like glass. They're little glass leaves. And they've got these little spikes on here as well. That's a nice necklace. Unusual. Unusual is good. 
And here looks like another one of those little heart, heart dangle charms. I gotta figure out who that maker is with this little heart. I think I may have had another one of these in another box or another bag. I keep calling them boxes, they're bags. Okay, this needs some pearls or I could just take this pendant off. It is a newer necklace. Hmm, I don't really think that's worth repairing, but I, I will, I'll think about that one. Oh, we have a scarab bracelet. That's, that's fun. I like that. I'm going to actually probably sell that on its own. I have quite a collection of scarab things as well. This bag looks a little smaller than the others, so that's kind of nice. Oh, we've got another one of these. We had one in kind of a salmon color. Still don't know who makes it. Big, chunky, glass bead, woven, braided choker. That's nice. Perfect for lots. And look, we have a fun bracelet. It is stretchy, but the beads are nice. It's glass and metal. It's, oh dear, what do we have here? <laughs> Is this rabbit fur? I think this is rabbit fur. Rabbit fur and a mesh knotted necklace. I'm not quite sure what to think about that one. <laughs> It'll go in a lot, but I'm not sure what kind of lot. And here's another one of those broken... This says... Kara, I don't know Kara jewelry. Looks like similar to icing or one of those. It does need to be fixed. I can fix that. Is it worth fixing? Does it have all of its parts? It looks like it has all of its parts. It's not missing any stones, so I'll put that together and reevaluate. Got a Merry Christmas watch. You know, I do have a bunch of Christmas things. I wonder if I could put a Christmas lot together and go ahead and include the watches. I don't know if they run though, and I don't know that I want to hassle putting batteries in them, but that might be something to think about because I do have, I probably have three or four Christmas watches and several kind of lower priced Christmas pins and brooches and things like that. So. We'll put it in watches for now. Lots of, these are nice pearls though, they're heavy. Heavy, they also are hand knotted. I don't think they're real. They're a high quality faux pearl though. Let me look at the, yeah, no, uh. No, they don't look real. Ooh, that's kind of cool. This is a macrame, it looks like it's handmade. It's a pressed, pressed something. I thought it was a leaf or something, but it doesn't look like a leaf. It's just a design. It's made out of clay with a nice, very dainty macrame corded chain with a clay button closure. I like that. All right, we've got some of these little tiny shells with a heart clasp. I've never seen a green one, and I've never seen one with a little dangle right there, so that's kind of fun. That'll go on a nice beachy type lot that goes in craft. All right, this looks like a Brighton wannabe. It says shine on it. <clears throat> All right, more of those. Okay, this is a little gold tone twisted bracelet. These you can find at Walmart. I'm going to stick that in craft bunch of bangles in fun colors and we have an acrylic large bead looks like dyed shell and bead necklace that does not have a clasp mm. this is really ugly I pardon <laughs> I'm sorry if you like it but the color is just kind of a ghastly Yeesh. I do like the chain though I could use this chain. 
So I might, I'm going to end up putting this probably in craft, but I'm going to steal that chain. And here is, looks like one of those fair trade, what does this say? Seed for life. I think this is one of those fair trade organizations that they empower usually women from third world countries to start their own business making jewelry and then they import it to the states and sell it. I don't know if they do parties like Tupperware type parties or whatever jewelry parties but this is the acrylic coated paper that's that's woven up so that'll go in a lot. I really like those organizations that help other countries. This watch, ew, it's got corrosion on it. I don't even want to mess with this. I'm actually going to throw this away. Ew. And an embassy watch. This one is okay. The watch is, the band is not. And here's another watch. This one also, it has a cracked crystal. This one's going in the trash too. I hate to throw things away, but seriously, that is not going to do anybody any good to put in craft. Nope. Metal trash can. Sorry, it's so loud. This is a hair thing. That'll go in craft. This is a slider necklace. It's got, are these glass? Yeah, these are glass. It's got some satin glass and clear glass beads on it. I don't think they're crystal or anything. There, I've got another watch. Oh, this looks like Whiting and Davis. I actually have a necklace in gold tone that I need to sell. I hope there's another one of these somewhere. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty in here, I'm going to once again turn the camera off and sort through and see if we can salvage any of this. Okay, so these are the unmatched earrings. We probably have some matches in one of the other bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in the unmatched earrings and we will go to sort them when we are done with all of the bags. And then the only other thing I found was this little necklace and it's cute. So that'll go in lots.